Welcome here on the shooting range of MEC in Dortmund. Today we are here to demonstrate some details about the build-up and the use of SCUD. Today, especially in the dry fire mood for your home training on maybe distances uh, around 3 or 4 meters. What you see here is a normal shooting range. The targets are unlighted in the moment. There on three meter distance you see our dry firing target. And here you see me, which may be a little bit unusual with a pistol, with an air pistol. But this is just easier to demonstrate and easier to handle. Beside me there is a, a, a laptop where we already loaded the program as you have seen yesterday and where we will see later on how the movement of the pistol and how the shots are taken to the screen. The highs the size and the light of your dry fire target. To have natural circumstances in your home training, it's quite important to get the most realistic circumstances. For this reason, you find the right size of the black spot on my website. There you find for air rifle three meters, uh, drawing, you can print it out and fix it here. The second problem is the height of the target. So when you compare the range on the background and the box here, you find that the spots are on the same height. How high this should be, you get from a little formula on my website as well. So here, for example, we have a height of 1 meter and 50. This is what it needs for the shooter in the eyes of the camera to have the target on the same level. I have a tripod here so I could go easily up and down. The third problem is the light on the dry fire target. You can try it with an external lamp. So you could take your mobile phone to enlighten the target, but this is different from the reality and uh, it will be a problem for your aiming because it's not enough light and it's another color of light than you are used to have on a real shooting range. So if we look at this beautiful light box from SCAT, here we have LEDs around the target and this gives us a natural aiming impression like in reality. Fixing the scut to your rifle or to your pistol. For this purpose you get from scut this beautiful piece of metal and this interface. We connect this metal band to the interface. We put this metal band around the cylinder hold, put it in the hole here at the end and fix it here with this screw. Now we take a look to bring, oops, now we take a look to bring the holder exactly on the line of the barrel and the cylinder and we can fix 
fix it with a screw just with the strength of your hand. Doesn't need more power, this would destroy. So, the next step is we bring the SCUD sensor or the camera onto this holder. There is a special rail for this. We take the key and fix it. Carefully again, it doesn't need too much strength. So now I hope that barrel, cylinder and the camera is in the line. If the camera is fixed to the pistol, all we have to do is to take our cable, connect it here. You hear the laptop is answering. Now our system is connected to the computer. If you look to the center from the side, you find the chance to choose the distance from the sensor to the target. It can be eternity, it can be 50 meter, 25 meter, and for our use today in dry firing, we can really go down to in between one and five meters, so we say three meters is the distance for today. We join it connected to three meter distance here. And now, the last step of preparation, we put in the cable, 